what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and of course welcome if you are new my name is Vilma today I'm finally doing my wardrobe clear out I'm going to be sharing with you guys pieces that I have not reached for in such a long time it could have been because of COVID or maybe my style has evolved and also because I lost a little bit of weight so I'm going to be showing you some outerwear accessories i think i have a bag to show you some really good basics that i used to really really love but i feel like i need smaller sizes and of course it's that time of the year where we do our wardrobe switch over but for me i have to look first and see what caps i have if there's anything in there that i'm not going to wear anymore so i go through stages now all of the pieces that i'm going to show in this video today i'm going to be selling them and if you are interested please make sure to check the info bar below i sell them both on ebay and on my vinted account there is a possibility that i'm going to sell everything on vinted because it's so much easier it's an app that you need to download onto your phone it's for free and you can check secondhand pieces so with all that being said i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started so i'm going to start with my summer pieces that i feel could be worn also in the colder months and i'm going to start with my zara body suits this is possibly coming as a surprise that i'm selling them but i'm only selling these because i need a smaller size i actually have four so i have this one in this gorgeous brown i have it in the nude i have it in black and i also have the one in white which is in the wash so i'm not going to be showing that in this video now these retail for 12 pounds 99 they're made of this really nice soft material they're double layered so they hold you in and i get a lot of questions if you can wear this with a bra you can definitely wear it with a bra you just need to find the right strapless bra for this particular bodysuit i tend to wear it with one from h&m which will be linked below for you guys um, but i really really love these ones especially the brown one but i feel like now i need a size medium because every time i wear it without a bra i feel like the double layer keeps going up because the body suit is a little bit too long and also here on the sides is a little bit too loose so that is the only reason why i'm getting rid of rid of these they are fantastic i've worn them quite a bit apologies for the background noise um, but these are great great basics as i mentioned they retail for 12 pounds 99 and i will be having these listed below for you guys the next piece is from h&m this is a 100 cotton little top right here with puffed sleeves if i tell you guys that i've never worn this although it doesn't have a tag i am not lying and the reason why i didn't wear this at all was because of covid i was at home for five months and i didn't have the opportunity to go out and actually wear this and i feel like because it is a bit of a trendy piece um, I'm not going to reach for it next year. I don't think I will. And I always have this, when I have something new in my wardrobe, I always tend to give it to someone because I feel like I'm not going to wear it. Now this one, I got it in size medium. It's a really beautiful piece. It's very simple, although it is a trendy piece because of the puffed sleeves. There's no prints or anything on it. I think I paid for this around 12 pounds. And again, I got it in size medium. And I think it's going to look really nice with a pair of jeans, like the ones that I'm wearing right now. I think it would be a really, really lovely piece to have. So this next piece is from In Other Stories. And I have it for about two years or so. And it's a really, really nice black top. Now it does have a little bit of texture and a little bit, I don't know, shimmer. I don't know if that's how you would say this is. I got it in size large and I think I paid around 50 pounds for it. It does have a scooped back, as you can see, and it's a very, very flattering top. But because it's a size large, I feel like I need a medium. Um, I still think it's a really nice piece and I think I could wear this quite a bit. I just don't think it suits me anymore. I'll try it on for you guys so you guys can let me know or I'll just put a picture here on the side so I can show you. It's a really nice a basic piece that you could wear to go out at night on a date or go out with your friends or even 
clubbing when that ever happens, possibly in a couple of years when COVID is completely out of our lives. I think it's a really nice top. And again, I got it in size large. The next piece is from Zara. It's a roller neck and I absolutely love the brown and the black together. It's just a lovely combination. It does have uh, puffed shoulders as you guys can see here, but then it tapers on the arm. And I feel like I paid less than 20 pounds for this. And I really, really like the color combination, as I said before. The reason why I feel like I'm not going to reach for this anymore, it's because of the sleeves. I like everything to be very simple and classic so I can wear it every year. And I feel like I'm not going to reach for this this year. Now, I am a size 12 UK. And although this is a size large, it fits me perfectly um, it's such a nice top and i feel like some of you may be interested and the color combination is perfect for this time of year as well so size large and it will be listed below for you guys okay so next we have uh, three marks and spencers roller necks in a ribbed material these are made of viscose and i think the previous one was also made of viscose i do apologize if i'm not talking about the materials but just feel free to ask me any questions because i will give you all the um, information that is required but these are made of viscose and polyamide but the majority of the fabric contents in this particular garment is um, viscose so I have it in navy blue I have it in gray and I also have it in white I absolutely love these and I am definitely going back to Marks and Spencer's to get more um, getting rid of them because they are too big they are a size 14 uk and as i mentioned i am a size 12 so they have a little bit of too much fabric underneath my arms which is something that i don't like now i wear these on their own with a nice blazer or a coat but i also like to wear them as a layering piece so i'll wear this and then a chunky knit on top and i'm really really good to go like it really keeps me warm they are basics in Marks and Spencer's and they have them every single year they retail for I think 17 pounds each and uh, yeah really really love them and for sure I will be buying them again okay the next ones are also from Marks and Spencer's these are basic cotton tops and I think they're called rich cotton um, because they are made of 100% cotton if I'm not mistaken so I have white i have beige and i have a two in a black now these ones retail i think for 11 pounds each and i have them again in size 14 they are a little bit too big for me but i absolutely love them these are the perfect perfect layering piece underneath um, natural fibers like cashmere or wool because if you are allergic and you feel like you need to itch all the time if you wear something like this underneath and then you wear that uh, like a jumper on top it just protects you it keeps you nice and warm it's breathable and I love them so again these are pieces that I will be getting in Marks and Spencer's again uh, but first I need to make space in my wardrobe and that is the reason why I'm showing you guys because I absolutely love them and I have spoken about them before possibly in a capsule wardrobe last year these are amazing 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 to wear on their own or you can wear them on underneath a gilet or a blazer they're just very, very simple, but they can be dressed up as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to outerwear. I have three pieces that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna show you the lightest one. And this one right here is a trench coat. This one is from H&M and I got it, um, I think, 2019 either 2019 or 2018 um, it's 100% cotton um, it's fully lined and it does have a belt I got this in size medium it was super oversized and it still is oversized and it's a great trench the reason why I'm selling it is because I feel like I want something else very similar to this but maybe in a cooler toned beige and I like the ones that have a little layer over here, like a little layer on top. I don't even know how to explain it. But um, I didn't reach for this the entire year. I could have worn it when I got 
when I went back to work but every time I put it on I just feel like it's not my style anymore it was a great buy it sold out so quickly um, in H&M um, and it was super inexpensive I think I paid less than 30 pounds for it so again I got it in size medium and it is oversized so if you are the same size as me or a size 14 this will definitely fit you the next piece of outerwear is also from H&M and I think all three that I have here are from H&M. It's a little bit bubbled. <laughs> um, this is a wool blend coat um, that I got last year and I got it in size large. So definitely is quite oversized on me. It, it Literally, I drowned in it. Um, it came in several different shades, but I decided to go for black because it's more simple. I find that this coat is actually really well made it's fully lined um, and it it dresses up your outfit like I really enjoyed wearing this coat the only reason why I'm selling it is because it no longer fits me it's way 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 too big for me and I need to find something that is a little bit more tailored or maybe if it had like a belt I could tie it up obviously this is not the style for that but if it was I would probably keep it for another season but I think it was a great buy and I feel like somebody else can benefit from having this I paid full price for this one for this one around 79 pounds and like I said it is a wool blend and it is in size large and the last outerwear piece that I have here is a puffer jacket and I am so sad that I'm going to be selling this I love the shade it's a cool tone base just like I like it it has a little hoodie and it kept me warm all winter I really really love this but it is too big it's a size large um, full price I think I paid 50 pounds for this one but it is in really really good condition it's fully lined it doesn't have any stains and if you like that kind of like oversized look I think it's still in fashion it's still trending this year then this one is definitely a good one it has little pockets here and then pockets here as well I'm really sad to be selling this but unfortunately I need a smaller size now moving on to accessories I have a jute bag this one is from Zara and I got this bag last summer and I wore it to death like I really really wore this bag a lot it comes with a little shoulder strap and it looks like this it has really cute handles it's kind of a threading over here but I know with some needle and thread I don't know it could possibly go back to its place um, but I think when I bought it it was already threading a little bit there it's made of natural material so it's normal that um, it starts wouldn't say falling apart because it's not falling apart at all that is the only issue that I have with the bag it comes with a little pouch inside but I definitely want to mention that in case somebody is interested in the bag I think at the time when I bought it I paid either 20 pounds or 30 it's really pretty but I didn't reach for this one at all I got one from uh, mango this year and I like it a little bit more than this one and uh, I don't need two basket bags in my wardrobe so this one has to go and the last item that I want to show you guys are these ankle boots from Zara they're actually sock boots and I've had them for at least three or four years they're in really really good condition these are very very comfortable to wear although the heel looks a little bit high they come with a little kind of like a metal uh, cap right here on the heel that gives them a little bit of edge I really like that and at the front they have kind of like almost a almond toe I would say these are in a burgundy shade and I really really like them but again I want something a little bit more simple and the simplicity for me would be without this metal part these are not made of leather but they are very very like very very comfortable I paid around 40 pounds for them um, again they are not made of leather but I feel like they were actually worth the money because I worn them so much and they never hurt my feet and I tend to always buy leather shoes but these ones in particular they were just perfect the size that I have here is size 8 UK which is size 41 in Europe and I think possibly size 9 or 10 in the US so 
and these will definitely be available for you guys below if you are interested i know every time i take pictures with these i get so many compliments so if you are interested make sure to check the link everything will be listed below for you guys okay so we've reached the end of this video i do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a good a thumbs up and if you don't follow me already both on here or instagram i'll put my handle right here please make sure to do so so you don't miss any future uploads from myself and always always if you subscribe to my youtube channel hit that bell notification so that youtube notifies you every time i upload thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on my next video bye